look at that for a picture. Um, welcome to New Zealand, my name is Paul Smith, I am a photographer based here in New Zealand and this is the YouTube channel. Can you print big from this camera, this, uh, this camera here, the like it, your mate? That's the question that we're going to be answering today. I've been asked to make a video on the possibilities of making large prints uh, from this camera which is a small sensor, a 10 megapixel sen sensor. Uh, and we're going to just test the theory, uh, how big can you print from this camera? Before we get too far into the episode, just a big thank you to PCL Imaging in Auckland, New Zealand who are sponsoring this episode. They are providing me with the prints. We'll be sending the prints up to them and they'll be printing them off for us. The sun's coming up more and more through the morning so this fog will be um, dispersing and um, I'm just going to take a few pictures here. Hopefully I can get a print from this scene and we'll be able to send it off to the printer to make a print. The fog here this morning is just uh, incredible. I've got the road, the curvature of the road here, the fog and the light coming through is making for just like a really moody scene. Nice, really nice picture. Kind of interesting because you know these kinds of pictures they're not they're not pictures that you travel a hundred miles to go and take but they're just everywhere you know uh, and I think we miss a lot of pictures by just thinking that we've got to go to a faraway place but yet you know, something like this is just it's just there to be taken and um, you know, I just love that whole idea that 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 the world is full of great photographs just waiting to be shot and um, you know we don't we don't have to go and you know go to Iceland to get them. They're just everywhere. It's just it's just about seeing them. Can't wait to get home and uh, have a look at this image and uh, hopefully it's come out okay and uh, we can send this off to the printer because I think it'll make an amazing print. Cool morning, cool fog and um, a cool scene, not a scene like I said that you travel 100 miles to go and take a picture of, but it was just there and I think those, for me, end up being the pictures that uh, I get the most out of. Before we go too much further, I think it's important to quantify what we're talking about when we're talking about making a big print from this camera. And for me, with this exercise, I really wanted just an image that when I've printed it, I can look at it reasonably closely. I can see the detail in it. There's no, I guess, pixelation or fuzziness there. It's clear, it's crisp, um, with me viewing it reasonably close. And I guess that's the criteria that I've put together for me to say, well, this is how big you can print from this camera. So just getting back from that shoot, really happy with the results. I did, however, have a dilemma because when I looked at the pictures that I'd taken, you know, I, I love them, but I wasn't sure about getting that particular picture to print. Um, I also had a few other pictures that I'd taken over the, the previous day or two that I also was considering sending to print. So um, having said that, let's, um, let's quickly have a look at these pictures that I was considering. I'll uh, go through them. There's four of them in total, actually five. There's a, there's a wild card came up. So the first image was this image here, which is an image on another foggy morning actually nearly sent this one away to get printed but the only I guess the the one area that I wasn't sure about was this area here um, and as you can see it's quite blown out the second image is this image here and again another foggy morning and uh, love this image but the only problem with the image is really the it's a fair bit of noise here I, like, oh, I had to bring the highlights up a fair bit here and uh, through doing that it's 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 a bit hazy and a bit noisy the third image was this image here. Just a nice moody shot. And the interesting thing about this, I cropped this, I square cropped this. So it's a cropped image. <laughs> so not only is it a small sensor, it's a cropped image. And this is one of the pictures I decided to send away. And the final picture was a picture that I'd taken this morning. Just love this picture. You know, the curvature of the road here, the fog. I've cropped it back a little bit. Um, it was a little bit blown out at the top here with the, with the sun coming through the, through the, through the fog. But I love, I just love the detail in this. I just love 
you know, it's just got some lovely, lovely detail to it. I love the way that these um, power lines are actually disappearing into the mist. Like say on the curvature of the road here, the, it's, it's, it's a very monochromatic kind of image, very moody and uh, the kind of picture I like. So this, this, this image is going off to print as well. I have got another picture and this is, this is one that I took after I shot the video this morning I went back to the car uh, and where I parked the car near the forest uh, there was some some rubbish dump there there was an old boat and there was some household rubbish aside from the pile of rubbish there was this an old chair that was positioned in what was like surreal scene I guess it was a chair and it was almost it was it was positioned in this opening in the trees almost like a corridor in the forest just immediately took my eye and I just had to take a picture of it so this was that image and um, it's quite a special picture and I'm excited to get this one printed I've processed these images in Lightroom and Photoshop and I've used a feature called enhance and basically what enhance does it, it pretty much doubles the resolution of your image I'm, I'm super interested to see how these pictures come out when I get them printed because I've literally doubled the sizes of the images from the original image sizes so um, it'll be really interesting to see the results and um, how good they look. So let's get this sent away and um, wait for the results to return. Prints have just arrived, can't wait to open these up and have a look at them. Uh, before I do, I just want to again thank PCL Imaging in Auckland, New Zealand. Uh, PCL Imaging has sponsored this episode. I'm so happy that they've been able to come on board and help me put this together. Not just for the fact that they supplied me with the prints and their expertise, but also because you know um, it's a huge privilege for me to be working with them because they, you know, in my eyes, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're one of the top printers in the country and to be working with a company that works with some of the best artists in New Zealand uh, is a real privilege. So uh, thank you very much, PCL. PCL have been uh, around since about 1973, and the, and the cool thing for me is that they've been around, you know, in the film era, and I think they started off specialising in film processing and stuff like that. Uh, and over the years, they've actually grown into printing, uh, framing, and uh, mounting of uh, images and stuff like that. Uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, just a quick note uh, on the ordering system of PCL. It's all online, so you basically go onto their website. Uh, you can order uh, from a wide selection of options, print options, um, from photographic prints, fine art prints. Uh, they've pretty much got everything covered. Uh, their online system's easy to, uh, to operate, uh, even for somebody like me who's pretty sort of... Uh, grey and old <laughs> but yeah it's very easy it's very simple they've got a great selection of print sizes but if something on their website doesn't suit your specific needs just be aware that you can customize uh, to any any size requirement so um, it's PCL Imaging thanks very much guys really appreciate the uh, help that you've uh, given me to put this episode together so let's get into it let's open the prints up let's have a look I can't wait to see them and um, I'm very excited Oh, here we go. Open. Here we go. Oh my god. Oh my god. I mean, that is incredible. That image is amazing. Man, I am blown away with that. I am genuinely blown away with that. That is incredible. This picture here was, was the one I was most excited to see. It's the first one I've got open, and I, the detail on this is just amazing. This is incredible. Um, PCL, you guys have done an amazing job. You've done an incredible job. Oh, another great one. This is beautiful. This looks like a painting. It really does. It just looks like a painting. It's just incredible. It's just amazing. The, um, yeah. Colour, the, the, the printing's incredible too. Uh, on both these images I've just had a look at.
beautiful. The sky on this image is just incredible. Um, it's just incredible. Man, I'm stoked. I'm stoked. I've got to say that I'm absolutely stoked with with all three of these images. And um, to think that we've, you know, people have said that the M8 is incapable of making decent sized prints. Well, you can see the size of the prints now. You know, I mean, these are, these are good sized prints. And again, like I said uh, before, you know, I could still bring those images up more. I've only really brought them up to the size that I've um, blown them up to in, in, in Photoshop using that enhance feature in uh, Light, uh, Lightroom and Photoshop that you could you could make those bigger and you would still I, I believe you'd still have a nice image I mean this was the print that I was really looking forward to getting back <laughs> um, check it out check that out that's that's the print you can oh, look I'm a big guy I'm six foot three and um well six foot two and a half <laughs> but look at that i mean that's a, that's a good print i mean boy, i mean when that's when that print is framed i mean like that's going to be you know that's going to be quite a quite a big picture a very big picture but you know just check it out just check that out man i mean that is awesome i, I love this print i love this print um this print will be for sale. I'll put a link below for, for all these prints. One of the reasons why I was so keen to get this, this particular print uh, made was that it was really going to test the camera and the detail because there's a lot of um, the, the textures on the you know, on the forest floor here with all the pine needles and stuff like that and um, the colours and the, the chair, the detail of the chair. It looked good on the computer screen but as, as a print, it's, it's just incredible. When you print your, your work out, it really does make you realise um, it's an achievement. It really is. It's uh, it's an achievement, and, I, and it makes you realise that this is what it's all about: making prints, making making pictures to look at. You can have them on a computer as long as you want, but are you you know if they get lost. This is incredible. Very stoked. Awesome. Thank you, PCL Imaging. You are amazing. The the printing is incredible. Before I go, uh, if you want to buy one of these prints, uh, they will be available for sale on my website. There is only one of each print available, so I'll put a link below um, for the link to go to my website where you can purchase one of these prints. They're one-offs. Uh, once they're gone, there will not be any more prints. So if you're interested in buying one of these prints, um, and they're amazing, uh, I'm just so stoked with them. Uh, they are available on the website, like I said, I'll put a link below for that. Um, also, if you'd like to support my channel, uh, my new book was released a couple of weeks ago, so if you want to go and support the channel in another way, go and check out my new book, Incidents of Isolation. It's available from the website. I'll put a link up here for that, and I'll put a link below also for the book for $25. Uh, that includes free shipping anywhere in the world. I released it two weeks ago, and I'm very proud of it. Uh, so uh, go and check that out and like I say I'd appreciate your support that's it for this episode uh, I have to go if you want to check out more content from my channel there's a video here to go and watch and I can guarantee you'll enjoy it I've got to go Hi from New Zealand goodbye I'll see you soon